this computer. And hold on just one second. Uh, all right. We should be good to go here. Excellent. I need, this is what I need to start doing. Zoom calls. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. That is, uh, uh, that's next. It's, it's going to be very soon. <laughs> well, hey everyone. Um, my name is Mac Atkinson and along with my sister Janet, we want to welcome you all to the February 2018 Sunrider Fusion Network Conference Call. I'm very, very excited to uh, have with me today Faye Da Silva. Um, Faye, welcome to the call. Everyone can probably see you up on the screen right now. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, we're going to talk a little bit this month about our recent Escape to Paradise cruise, uh, the new seven-day blueprint to success the company released, the Fast Start program to Star Elite, and a little update for everyone on the Slim Down Challenge that I started earlier this week. But before we get started, I just want to uh, quickly remind everybody, as we always do, that none of the information provided in this presentation is intended to represent a diagnosis or cure of any illness or disease. Um, with that said, Faye, again, we both were on this great cruise. It, it was fabulous. It started out in Miami and took us to um, uh, the, the um, uh, what was the something key, right? Half Moon Key, I guess, was the first island stop. And then uh, Nassau in the Bahamas and then back to, to Miami. And um, it, it really was fun. And uh, here's a picture of you and Ceci from, from our, our Sunrider meetings that we had. And if you could, would you kind of tell everybody why you thought the cruise was fun, number one, but then secondly, um, why you thought it was important for you to be there and why it was important for somebody like Ceci, a brand new IBO in your group, to be there with you. Well, uh, I would say that, you know, attending any of the Sunrise uh, events is, is just important as a business leader. And I was fortunate enough to um, qualify for it. And so, uh, basically, I had the privilege of um, getting the the balcony room with a three hundred dollar uh, Sunrider gift voucher, right? And, um, and 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 an opportunity to bring a, a guest. Right. So you know everything was paid for except for the cruise, and this is the first time um, Sunrider has done that. So. It, you know, if you can work your way to qualifying, that is obviously the best way. Um, and I brought Ceci because uh, she's been in Sunrider now two years. She's been eating the foods and um, had expressed interest in wanting to start building the business. So I thought it would be good to bring her along just to show her what the Sunrider lifestyle is all about in a small setting. She went to convention last year. And to get to hang out with uh, some of the other leaders, uh, the ma uh, with, uh, management. Mm -hmm. um, so that was, you know, for me personally, it was just a good five days of rest and relaxation. <laughs> uh, just to kind of get away and then you know, be able to get back and not have, have to pay for it was just a bonus, a bonus plus. Yeah, I so, agree yeah. with that one for sure. Well, thank you. In, in your writing, you know, I, I couldn't agree with you more. The, this trip, you're absolutely correct in what you said. It was truly an incentive trip. And people, um, as you said, could earn the cruise, upgraded services on the cruise, like the balcony rooms, et cetera, product vouchers, airline vouchers, all from doing a couple of different things. Number one, sponsoring new IBOs and helping them grow themselves, and also increasing rank within your organization for both you and the people underneath you. And, and mm -hmm. again, it, it's a great way to stimulate and to build your business and have a super reward at the other end of it. And like you, we were fortunate enough to, to earn the reward from the company as well. Um, I brought my wife along with me because she would never let me go on a cruise without her. So there's that part. And um, and I must say, you know, Faye, you, you and I have talked about this before, looking back over the years with all of the cruises and the fun trips we've had with Sunrider, I've got pictures all over my wall here in my office of, of my children as they were growing up. Um, 
being in Egypt and throughout the Mediterranean and the Caribbean and China and just all over the world, all because of Sunrider and these incredible trips that this business opportunity brings us. Um, one of the other things that, that I certainly appreciated and was very much in perspective for me on the cruise was what you just mentioned and the reasons for having somebody like Ceci there. It, it's a wonderful way. And, and I think this cruise more than ever before, we were actually, it, it was very free and open to interact with Dr. Ruben Chen and Josh Colas and Roz and Jose and Sheila and some of the other Sunrider management that was there that you don't often have that opportunity to, you know, go down a water slide with Dr. Ruben Chen or to hang out and have dinner with Josh and these, these other Sunrider managers, you know, so it was a great time to get to know them more personally and, and to really kind of um, kick off your shoes and have some fun and a good time on these things. And, and I, I tell you, we certainly did. There, there was the, um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going the wrong way here in the PowerPoint. There, there was the, the group meeting and, and Ceci's up there. These were all the, the people that were brand new that kind of earned this trip on the cruise during one of the meetings that Dr. Ruben Chin held. And um, we ended up at the Atlantis Resort, which was just awesome on that, that second day at sea. And I had never been there before. I had seen the commercials on television. Always looked like a fun place to go and um, loved it. Super aquarium, the water slides. And as a matter of fact, Josh, just today on Facebook, I don't know if you saw it yet or not, Faye, he posted the video that he produced. Yes, it's awesome. You know, it's really cool. It gives a great overview. So um, I shared it on my Facebook page as well as you probably have too. And for anybody that wants a great overview of the entire trip, Josh put together a fabulous video there. Um, we also, of course, during the Atlantis, a, a few of us hung out together. And uh, there's Josh on the left with Sharon, her her son, Cody's taking the picture, but my wife and myself and, and Camille and, and Christian and Paul and Rita Harrington are there with us in this particular shot. And again, it was a great day just interacting with other Sunrider leaders and, and cross-line folks. It, it just had a great time. Um, to the point of the call here, uh, Faye and I want to share with you guys uh, a few of the things that, that Dr. Ruben Chin shared with us on the cruise. And one of the first things he, he spoke about was this key rank of star elite. And Faye, as, as you and I have talked before, I mean, as you have new people coming into Sunrider, one of the first goals we set with them is to get to this rank of star elite because it, it, it's the first time where they've really started sharing Sunrider and, and doing some things to build their business and, and obviously generating the rewards in terms of bonuses that, that go along with that. And there's... <clears throat> I guess one of the things that, that I find interesting with this is, um, and no lies here, folks, you know, there, there's probably a thousand different ways you can create $1,800 in sales, okay? But what Ruben laid out for us, I think, is a really reasonable approach based on the tools that the company has put out with this plan, in this fast start program, seven days to early success, things that we'll be talking about here in a couple of minutes. And that you and I have gone over this several times in the last week, but it really involves it with you being an IBO and sponsoring three customers, two IBOs, and one of those IBOs sponsoring three customers as well. Everyone doing $200 a month in terms of their purchases. So you end up with three IBOs, six customers in your group, everyone doing 200, brings you to the 1800 DV or downline volume mark, which is what creates the star elite rank and title. So um, again, it was, it was kind of cool the way Ruben laid this out. And, and I, I don't want to oversimplify it for anybody. Faye, you and I have talked about that too. I mean, it's easy to put numbers and circles up here on the board, but when it comes down to actually finding these people and sponsoring them that that takes some effort and and um, I don't want to belittle that because you and I both know I mean we have to go out and talk to people we have to listen for their dreams needs and desires and show them where this opportunity can help them and you know with with that said for a second I want to um, quickly kind of in the PowerPoint and I'm gonna go to um, the Sunrider Business Center for a second, because the next things we're gonna be talking about, I wanna share with everybody how easy they are to find and how they're really at our fingertips. And they, one of the, um, the things that was shared with us to support the model Ruben just showed on the screen there 
was this seven day to early success program. And it's really just a, a one page front and back printed sheet that we can use with our new IBOs to really get them moving in the right direction. And <clears throat> there's five simple steps here. And the, the first one begins with setting goals. And, and you know, it, it, it's funny, I, I don't think this is really strictly relevant to just brand new people. I mean, you and I last week, were talking about goals, you know, mm -hmm. some of your goals. I mean, I, I know what they are. And, and you have some great aspirations on wanting to grow in rank and really build your business. And so do I, I mean, big super tasks ahead of both of us, you know, to get to where we both want to be. But it all begins with that conversation on where do I want to be recognizing that in your own mind and then starting to articulate it and go out and set your plan to make that happen. And that's really what this sheet talks about. It talks about setting the goals with the brand new person here. What are your personal goals? What are your income goals? How fast do you want to get there? What are your dreams or what is your why that really brings you to Sunrider and looking at this opportunity? Um, looking at the basics, you know, the why choose Sunrider. And, and I, I don't mean to be skipping around here too much, but again, I, as you're going through that sheet with people, again, you come right back to the business center, you click on the link that's right there for you, and it brings you to the page, why choose Sunrider? It lets you look at the videos on, on the company and the opportunity, the history of the company with Dr. Taifu Chen, the Sunrider product difference, the brand convention reviews, and again, information specific to the Infinity Compensation Plan. And one of the things I, if I can move us out of the way here, hold on just a second. I wanted to show everybody that it's also been produced now with subtitles in Hungarian, Malaysian, uh, Philippines, Singapore, Western Europe, Spanish, and two dialects of Chinese. So again, I'm going to move us back over here real quick. Um, all of the information that somebody needs to evaluate why they should choose Sunrider is right here on this particular website. So great stuff there. Um, again, back to the seven day program here. We then get into creating a list and, and this is critical. I, I think where it breaks down for so many people and, and Faye, I'd like your opinion here too on this is that we sit here and we maybe know what our dream is, but we really don't know the steps to get there. And I, I mean, how do you think it's important for people to really put down a list of names and for the upline like you and I to be helping them to follow up and making those initial calls? Tell me what you think about that. Absolutely. Um, I'm working with a couple of people now and I said, if I don't have a list, I can't help you. Right. So I said, don't worry about uh, whether they will take your call or any of that. Just put the names down and then make the call or do, you know, set up an appointment. And the thing is, it doesn't really matter whether they're going to say yes or no. You got to get comfortable with all the no's before you get to an end, yet, before you get to the end. So right. use it as a practice. So get all the names from the phone, from your iPhone, put them all down, and out of that, one's going to say a yes. You know what I mean? So yeah. you get skillful every time uh, you approach somebody and um, have that. Uh, interaction with them whether it's a yes whether it's a no whether it's a no whether it's a maybe and you get good at it and that's the most important thing about the list yeah. and i said i would like uh, craig says you right. know um you, you make a you can make a list of a hundred boxes uh -huh. and with every uh appointment that you make you just cross them off yeah. and out of the hundred thirty will say yes and out of the the 30 10 will probably quit and <laughs> another 10 will do it and really that's really what you're looking for Absolutely. and so i understand how it's fearful to pick up the phone and call so i'm saying don't worry about it you just tell them you you know you want to show them something they can say yes or no or maybe it doesn't really matter but you just got to get good at making those calls so we get over the the fear absolutely well and thank you for that and, and you're absolutely right i mean this this business we're in is a numbers game there's no question about it and uh, again for for me and i know for you too it's always started with identifying the need of the individual so we can come back with integrity and share this opportunity and then you're absolutely right it's up to them totally whether they say yes or no but at least we've listened to what they've said 
and we've presented something that may help them in their life if they choose to really act on the, that dream or desire that they've shared with us. And, you know, it, it's funny, you and I have both heard this many times from Craig and Bob Goshen and others over the years, but it, it is the thing. It's, it's, you know, get them to write out that list. You do those first three or four presentations. So you do it for them. They do it with you on the next few, and then they're able to do it because to your point, they've learned the skill of the communication and how to share the Sunrider opportunity with people. And, you know, that, that's why I wanted to show folks the, the Sunrider Why page earlier in this call, too, because those, that is one tool that we can use to help people initially to see really what Sunrider is all about, especially if we don't really feel that we're capable or have the skills to share it well ourselves. So there's a lot of different ways to approach this. And, you know, I, I know I'm going to mess it up, but one of the people in your upline group, J.W. Emerson, was it a thousand people JW said he talked to until he finally got to those first few that were saying yes, or was it a hundred? I, I know it was a large number of people that he always talks about. Yeah, and, and again, that's dedication. Boy, you go out there and you talk to 99 or 100 people about this and you get all those rejections. You've got to put your ego aside and just realize that you're doing this to offer them the opportunity to help them. So good stuff. Good stuff. Thank you. Um, the next thing they talk about here is, again, using some of the tools we talked about, getting social, going online with Facebook, looking at some of the maps, which are the marketing approach plans, things like the shake and tea parties, the slim down challenge, the being social media, interacting 15 minutes a day, etc. cetera. Um, step four here, again, is, is just what we've been talking about. It's sharing the tools. It's identifying the need. And then helping them understand, again, what their need is. Sharing with them that there's a team of players here in Sunrider to help them. Not from the company only, but, but through the downline. I mean, one of the things I, I love so much about this new compensation plan is the infinity compensation plan is it does pay infinity deep, okay? And, uh, you and I have laughed about this before, but, you know, when I look at where you are in our organization, you're probably, what, seven, eight, nine levels down certain months, depending on the upline structure and so forth. And in the old plans, that was actually out of the payout even by far. In this new plan, I, you, we all get paid infinitely deep. It doesn't matter how deep the organization goes. So it, it's a really cool plan from that standpoint. And the point I wanted to make with team is there's a whole team of people to be helping you and to help the people that are in your organization to be successful. So again, the dream, the team, the company, the products that we all love so very much, the compensation plan, and right back to the dream is what kind of fills this in for people as we talk to them. Um, before I move on to kind of finish up this page, did you have any other comments on that little section or, or how have you found working with, with these principles? Um, you know, Ruben asked, what was your biggest takeaway from the trip? And I said, you know, I, the, the, the excursions and all of that was great. But the biggest one for me was him simplifying the, um, the fast start bonus. And he, uh, you know, we've heard, um, that in our, um, Tuesday calls and, and, and uh, yes, the Sunrise Tuesday calls, but he, he just made it very simple. Not this particular one, but the one he drew on the bar, uh, right. on the board uh, yeah. at Cruise. And it really simplified it. And, you know, I said, this is, the, you know, when people join, they just want to know what do I need to do? And the fact that you can get your customers you know, have customers and they come towards your volume and you can get comfortable with them with the product and out of that, you are probably going to get a business uh, builder who yeah. says, I love these products. I get, you know, I want to do what you're doing. <laughs> so, or, or someone will come in and, and just maybe interested in just wanting to build a business just because they're tired of doing what, what they are, they, they're currently doing. And they see the excitement in you, in you and your voice and what you and the lifestyle that you're living. So for me, that piece of sheet, a sheet was just uh, a gem. Absolutely. And yeah. it is really simplified. You know, when a new person, when you've got a new person, uh, you can put the sheet and go through that in, you know, in, in a few minutes. 
yeah. just to kind of give them an outline as to what it what it takes to get you started, and then after that, it's just a matter of duplication. You know, Absolutely. duplicating the exact same steps, uh, like you said, six times till we get to Ace Royale. If you can figure the first part to uh, start elite, then it's just a matter of duplicating that. Mm -hmm. Right on. Well, and, and you're right. And uh, I felt the same way. I mean, the original sheet the company put out on the Start Fast Start program was fabulous. I mean, it talks about that first step to your point of finding the customers and talking to them about the product and getting them involved, bringing in the friend, which were those other two IBOs and doing the same thing, and then setting the goal to become Star Elite. And, and you know, again, that takes us kind of right back to... Um, to this slide that uh, you were talking about that Ruben put up on the board. And it is simple. I mean, you get yourself going, you find those customers, you find a couple of IBOs, you help them do the same. And once you create that Star Elite program for yourself, then you can start duplicating that below you and um, put it together five times, six times in your Ace Royal, which is the next big rank everyone shoots for in Sunbrighter. So very good stuff. Thank you. Um, here I am going the wrong way again. You know, we, we've talked about this. Um, one of the things we, before we kind of jump into a couple of, of other little things I wanted to talk about here on the call, is I, I mentioned in last month's call the Slim Down Challenge. And we went through all the products and we talked in detail about the Sun Trim Shake and the Protein Plus Shakes and Vita Taste and Fortune Delight. So I don't want to go through that again, but I just want to let everybody know that I personally have a testimony here. I, I started the, the Slim Down Challenge myself on Monday of this week, and today's Friday. Um, I've been doing my two shakes a day, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, having a reasonable dinner in the evening, using Vita Taste with that meal, okay? And I, I won't weigh or measure myself again until this coming Monday to see what the results are after only one of the four weeks that are part of the challenge. But I will share a couple of things, and that is I'm finding the shakes to be just as advertised. High energy, great nutrition, and they truly fill me up. I am not hungry, okay? I'm going to like 12.30. I'll do my first shake at like 7, 7.30 in the morning. I'm going to 12.30, 1 o'clock in the afternoon before I ever feel like I want something in my stomach again. I'll do my second shake, and it's 6.30, 7 o'clock at night before I'm even feeling like having dinner. And I'm not talking about a huge shake here. We're talking about one sachet of the, the Sun Trim Plus um, shake, one scoop of the Protein Plus for me. That's what I choose to put in. I'll use half a banana, a little bit of frozen fruit. I get the medley from Costco just because that's one of the ones I like with the strawberry and the blueberry and the, the, the pineapple. Um, mix that together with a little Cali or Fortune Delight is my base liquid. And it is awesome. And the, the other thing I've really noticed, too, is my energy level, especially in the afternoons. Um, in the past, when I would do a solid lunch, if you will, um, I found myself trying to fall asleep around 2.30 or so. It was invariable. It doesn't matter what I ate. It could be a salad or it could have been anything else. And I'd still find myself getting tired. The afternoons now, man, I'm working straight through. It, it, it's incredible in terms of the energy level. So again, I just want to share that with everybody that I've started this thing. There's a number of other of us here in Arizona that have begun the challenge. And um, Faye, I think you've played with these shakes some too, haven't you? I mean, what's been your experience? Yes. Well, I am, <laughs> I am doing a swim down challenge. Oh, good for you. It, it's like, what for? You know, people ask me, you don't need to. Well, I have a little bit of a belly and I want to get rid of that and I want to tone up. So I got involved because I really wanted to know what people were going to experience so that I can then talk to them authentically about what it did. Exactly. And it's my second week. Uh, there's three of us in our team here in Houston that of uh, three, uh, three, four altogether that's doing this. Mm -hmm. For my experience, um, you know, you're you um it's uh, a four percent of your body weight mm -hmm. i have already lost that it's been if it this is yeah this is our second end of the second week coming up uh in uh, on sunday i've already lost my four four percent so uh my experience is exactly right they have not overestimated or over exaggerated 
the effects of uh, the sun cream shake and protein plus. I love it. And I know I'm going to continue uh, using it after the, um, the four weeks mm -hmm. because of just the energy, uh, not tired, feeling, you know, satisfied, uh, not feeling bloated. That, that's another big thing. Not, you know, feeling just um, no craving. Yeah. Absolutely no craving. Uh, I do the shake in the morning. I do a new, uh, just a sun cream shake and, and a protein plus. And then I, I do have lunch. Uh, my lunch is now half the size of, of what it used to be because already I'm not that full. Mm -hmm. um, and then I will do another one uh, in the evening. Right. Um, uh, the protein plus in the evening. And I am, I sleep good. Uh, I'm losing inches. And like I said, I've already lost the four pounds. Excellent. Well, congratulations. And, you know, I, I, I'm on that 4% body loss, uh, body weight loss program too. And um, that means I, I'm going to have to lose close to nine pounds. So you guys can all do your math on that if you want, but that's my goal. Okay. And, and I have felt the need to, and, you know, Faye, I, I think, you know, you're probably doing it the better way by having the shakes in the morning and then the evening and eating your meal in the afternoon, um, simply for digestion and better sleep and that kind of stuff. And I, I'll just share two other very quick things here. Um, one of the, in, in doing the shakes in the morning and the afternoon, one of my concerns was my karate classes are always between like five and eight in the evening. And these are very intense workouts, etc. I was worried I wouldn't have the energy or the stamina to make it through those classes, but that has not been the case at all. I found no problem with that. My energy level again has been through the roof and, and, you know, be it, doing katas, techniques, push-ups, you name it. I've had the energy and the strength to do everything I was doing before and then some. So right on with that. And two other quick things I just wanted to share that Ruben mentioned that I found interesting. Um, we had asked him, I think, during the meeting that one day, what, what makes the sun trim shake in particular so unique? And the one thing I wrote down, which really kind of hit it for me, is he said the concentration of the, herbal, <clears throat> of the herbal weight loss herbs that make up that particular shake are three times more concentrated than you would find in either New Plus or Vita Shake as alternatives. So again, it's the concentration, right back to our philosophy of regeneration, and one of the key elements there, concentration of these herbs. Sunrider, just as they always do, has have done something for us that no other company has the capability of doing in terms of concentrating these herbs to give us something that truly works, okay, in our body, that our bodies can assimilate. So right on there. The other little note I made for myself, which is a bit off topic, but I found it interesting, is um, somehow we got into the topic with Ruben of which muscle groups are associated with longevity, okay, so living longer. And I found it interesting. It's both the thighs and, and the, um, the, the, the pushing up, if you will. And, and it's basically the whole ability to, to push and lift yourself up so you can move forward in life. And I, I just thought that was interesting that he had shared that with everybody too. And, you know, so I guess uh, my karate instructors always like, right, keep working on the legs, you know, getting them stronger and stronger. So there's some points there. Um, for time's sake, I, there, there's just a couple of the things I'd like to share with everybody, Faye, as we kind of bring the call to a close here. And that is, uh, here in the United States, this new compensation plan started on June 1st. We're coming to our one-year anniversary on May 31st of this year, which is only a couple months away, okay, or three months, actually, as we look at the calendar, which will, you know, that happens in the snap of a finger for most of us. So I wanted to go ahead and start sharing with everybody this month, and it's something I'll talk about every month up until May. But there's a couple things that people need to, to be paying attention to. Number one, in the new plan, there's really only two requirements for IBOs, they like you and I, okay? And that is number one, we need to purchase $200 annually. That happens like within the first 15 days of a month for me, okay? So that's not an issue. So $200 annually in purchases. And the second thing is there is a $100, $120, I should say, annual renewal fee, which will take effect for all of us on May 31st of this year. Now, this fee is very standard in the industry. It's not unusual at all. All the companies do it. And it replaces the previous monthly maintenance fee that we were being charged under the old plan. So I just wanted to share that with everybody that that is, that is coming up. So all IBOs that were IBOs on June 1st of 2017, 
will be charged a $120 annual renewal fee on May 31st of this year, okay? Now, if your whole reason for joining Sunrider as an IBO was simply to get the best price, all right, you now have another option where you can avoid paying that $120 annual IBO fee, and that's by transitioning to the new rank we call preferred customers. And if you are an IBO and you were on June 1st and you choose to convert between now and May 31st, you can still get the same IBO price, you will not have to pay the $120 annual renewal fee, and your only requirement will be to purchase $200 cumulative every six months. You'll never have to pay the fee, you'll always get the best price, and you could be a preferred customer. So again, I just wanna make everyone aware that there is that option, and what these requirements are under the new plan. Um, one of the things that we're doing, and, and Faye, I'm not sure what you're doing with your group, probably something similar is, we are gonna be sending out a letter to all of our IBOs reminding them about their accumulation totals, et cetera, those kind of things, where they are in that process, as well as letting them know again, if, they, if they've never really sponsored anybody, they're only in this for the products, preferred customer is a great option for them. So um, there's that. And you know, I, I've had people ask me, well, where do I find my accumulation data for people. And simply again, I'm gonna come back to the Sunrider Business Center. We're gonna go under the Manage Account tab. We're gonna to go to Activity Management. Well, here I guess I need to sign in again, so no problem there. Go to Activity Management, which is brought up. And if you look at this column right over here, you can bring up your personal group, the month. I like to go five levels deep because we have a deep organization. And then I click on Accumulation to Date. And what that's going to show me, and I'm sorry, I probably shouldn't have people names being shown here, but hopefully they won't mind. And this thing is working ever so slowly here. But what it's going to do is it's going to give me an accumulation. Here it comes. It's going to give me an accumulation per date, and it's going to show. Again, we have a big organization here. But as we keep going down, it's going to show all the people that have actively been ordering. And it's going to start, because clicking on that title, it's going to start at the lowest all the way up to the highest, and it'll show you absolutely the amount that people have been purchasing since this plan kicked in since June 1st, so you can actually address that accumulation with them in your communications. So again, if I've got somebody that's only purchased 150 out of the $200 they need, I'm gonna remind them this month they need to place another $50 order at a minimum just to maintain their IBO status. So I wanted to share that with everybody. And last but not least, kind of coming back here to the uh, slideshow to finish this thing off, is I want to remind everybody that um, we are marching towards the 2018 IBO convention, Building Dreams Together. Um, the website now has the convention registration is open for everybody. There's also kind of full circle here back to our incentive cruise. There's an incentive program for convention as well that the company has, has, has um, put together. But I wanted to remind everybody here, mark calendars July 31st through August 4th, Anaheim, California. We're back to Disneyland, hooray. So looking forward to that, certainly. And um, uh, one more time, if I can, back to the business center. I just wanted to share with everybody uh, let's log out and start this again that on the business center you can come right down here pull up the convention reward program and again this is for the months of February March April and May it's a four-month program where just like it was for the cruise by sponsoring by helping our new sponsors grow and by increasing in rank we can earn points and values towards attending convention the convention can be paid for um, airfare, product vouchers, like you mentioned before. There's a lot of ways to win in this program. So again, folks, all of the information that Faye and I have talked with you about today is all available in the Business Center from Sunrider. Check these things out, look at them, and start working towards getting the Grand Convention and coming for free, which is, I know, something Faye, you and I are both going to be working towards. So all great. Um, Faye, last comments to you. Anything you'd like to share with anybody before we close down this month? No, I think the company is doing everything they can to uh, really get us um, moving the right direction. And, uh, you know, it's really up to us to, to work the business, to work the plan. Yeah. And uh, if you're serious about 
um, building a business. Absolutely. Well, and I, I couldn't agree with you more. And I thank you. I, I, I think that's, that's a great comment to end on is the fact that this truly is our responsibility. It's nobody else's. And, and one of the things that I, I've known about myself, and, and I see this in you, obviously, too, and a lot of our leaders is, it's that whole mentality of taking 100% responsibility for our own success. My success is not up to you. It's not up to JW and Lois. It's not up to any of the leaders in our team. It's up to me alone, just like it is for you as well. So again, I think that's a great place to end. Faith, thank you so much for being with us as much. Thank you for sharing the way that you have. It was wonderful spending time with you and Ceci on the cruise. It was great being able to be there with you guys. And uh, so appreciate you spending time with us this month and sharing with us on the Fusion Network call. So until next month, everybody, talk to you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, I think it was